about what is in Kogi's toy box and we'll just basically, you know, regularly update you on some of the toys that he gets. There are so many toys that are out there. Some of them are just like from plain old rattles to wooden toys. Some of them highly educational. Some of them there to uh, obviously stimulate um, a child a certain way, fine motor skill development, a whole lot of toys. Welcome back if you're already subscribed. If not, make sure that you do subscribe so you can keep up with some of the latest in woke mommy, woke parenting content and hit the notification bell so that you can be the first to know when a new video is up and ready for you to watch. And of course, engage with us, man. I feel like we're building a little bit of a community in the comments section, just talking about our experiences as parents. Today, we're going to talk about three toys that I'm loving at the moment for Mugotlehi, and I'll share with you why I love them. The first toy, very, very simple, might I add. I don't know where it's from because it was a birthday gift. So this is one of his birthday presents that he got. But what I love about this, so this is actually a car park. This is a little car, so it's got a ball. But what I love about it is because Mukotlehi now is big enough to know where to put something, right? He knows because he sees mommy puts it there and then he knows how to put it there. But now here's the next trick is that he has to learn what she's learning at the moment to push it so that it goes down the car park. Whee! And it's so fun because as it goes down, he gets so excited once he pushed it or he sees mommy push it. And of course, once it comes out, it's a yay moment. And then he gets ready to put it right back on the top and do the car park all over again. <laughs> there we go. So this is Miko Gehi's car park. And the cool thing is, I mean, you can see this is like a ball at the bottom on the top of the car park accommodates a ball. He has other balls that fit in here and also roll down the car park. So this is very fun and engaging. It rattles, makes a noise, it's bright colored red. Um, this was very simple to assemble. I did it all by myself. And uh, he gets to enjoy his car park. So I absolutely love this. I don't remember who bought this, but thank you so much for the person who bought this as a gift for Mukukeri's first birthday. Next in the toy box, this gift is from Mommy, being a creative, um, being a lover of music. Uh, Fisher Price is so good with their toys, right? And this is a keyboard. Now what I love about this, you have different volume settings. So you have, I would say, soft and loud and off. You will learn as a parent that the off button becomes very, very valuable. But let me tell you what I love about this. So, makes a sound when it goes on. So, it has different things that you can do with it that it teaches you. You can see that it's got colors, it's got shapes, it's got numbers, and all the, play, the keys actually play the exact notes that they're supposed to. So, you can literally take it, and this here, which you move across, to A, B, C, one, two, three. Let's play and learn. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. My alphabet song goes from A to Z. And it says Z, it doesn't say Z. So think about that when you're buying toys for your kids. So, one, we're on the color setting. And it has a song. So now it sings the shapes in order, all the way to the end. So I absolutely love that we talk shapes. Go to the next one. Telling you about the shape. Triangle. Square. <laughs> Star, and sometimes the shapes are very limited, so I like that it has more. It has star, hexagon, 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 moon. I mean, which kid's toy has the shape moon? And diamond. So let's see, we move it to piano setting now. 
So now, yes, my favorite too. <laughs> and sometimes I play for him. So I'll be like, Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. And I play for him and I show him how to play the notes. So um, these keys, which are your shops and flats, they don't work. Baby doesn't need them, which is fine. But I like that it adequately represents a piano. So we move to the next setting. So on this setting, I think it's the one that makes the different animal sounds. So it's the duck basically singing uh, all the way to the top. Finally, you can have your keyboard in a moon. <laughs> How cool is that? So I absolutely love this. You can talk numbers, colors, shapes with baby. And yeah, shapes, colors, it does a multitude of things, but also he can learn to play the piano and have fun with it. So this is one of the many musical instruments that I've bought for baby and most of them come from Fisher Price. Quite a good brand, uh, but something like this would cost you between 350 and 600 rands. It really depends. So, you know, we don't buy these quite often, but this is the type of toy that I think he could keep for a long time. And then lastly, what's in the toy box? This is very, very big. This is from Westpac. So I'm showing you it like this. But what's so cool about it, I, I was at Westpac the one day as a lion, is that he can sit on it and you can rock him on it with your foot. Um, I first saw it by my brother and sister-in-law's place. They have a yellow one that uh, my niece's grandmother got for her not my mom other granny and um she just absolutely loved it so i thought oh my gosh let's get this for Mubudlehi. but at some point apparently they get offered and start pushing it around like a car but it's this retails for about a hundred and something bucks it's quite reasonable and it's fun um he still can grow into it a little bit it can be outside it can be inside and it's quite simple so these are some of the things that are in this week's toy box and the next time i mean we'll look at more toys different toys let me know if there are any toys that you think a 13 month old boy should be playing with or should have anything that develops baby boy i am down for anything that teaches him music teaches him shapes sounds all of those things i'm so down for but this is what is in this uh, edition of what's in the toy box. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.